Shackled at the wrists and ankles, 34-year-old Samuel August Sr. was escorted by a pair of gloved officers from the courtroom of Senior Magistrate Aretha Ford this morning. The father of three, whose youngest son and mother-in-law were slain during a hellish incident on the morning of October 31st, was arraigned in the lower court on a slew of charges including murder. He is accused of crashing an excavator into their home on Faber's Road, hauling them out of their bedroom in the jaws of a backhoe and dumping them, along with chunks of concrete and garbled steel, onto the ground outside the bungalow. Neither would survive the deadly ordeal. A third victim, Brittany Craig, narrowly escaped with her life and is still recovering from various injuries. August's parade before the media was fairly slow, as he waddled to confinement after being read four charges. The officer's use of latex gloves as they led him to the holding cell is unusual, presumably because of his health status. Not only was a city council employee injured during the rampage, his wounds were compounded last Friday when he collided into a backhoe after escaping from the KHMH and stealing a vehicle. I know that he had suffered some injuries to his forehead and it was suspected that he inflicted several stab wounds to his chest with an instrument that he found inside of the vehicle. We also learned from the medical doctors that he had suffered some injuries to his lung, hence the reason that he was admitted at the hospital. What's his condition right now? He is presently in police custody. August was indicted on two sets of charges, including the murders of Louise Young and Samir August, as well as causing dangerous harm to Brittany Craig and robbery. Interestingly, he pleaded not guilty to the single count of robbery, despite being found behind the steering wheel of the stolen SUV. There are several persons that were injured during that ordeal there. Those charges will be levied against him likewise. And he has the case of the robbery of the vehicle and the damage caused to the vehicle. And the damages to the houses? Yes. Okay. All of that will be part of the parcel when he presents himself in the court. But when he did appear before the lower court judge, August did so unrepresented. Those additional charges that were discussed on Thursday's police brief were also noticeably absent. Perhaps the damages that were brought to bear on three structures, including the front of Carl Butler's home, were not considered when the charges were being prepared. Fortunately, they have received assistance from the Belize City Council, as well as from the National Emergency Management Organization. I was approached by the mayor and the councillors and um, Nemo as well. So their response was, was um, overwhelming and uh, I, was, I am assured that they will bring things back to normalcy. The state of mind or mental stability of Samuel August is also a consideration that was made in the aftermath of both incidents. Following a psychiatric evaluation, it was determined that August is fit to stand trial. Now, uh, how, how do you all, how have you all reached this point despite the known psychiatric issues that Mr. August had? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the file was sent to the Director of Public Prosecution Office. We have received advice from them and that's the advice that they have given us. That is the advice that we are proceeding with the charges. But just for the avoidance of doubt, he will be charged with the same charges anyone in their sound and right mind would be charged with. Yes. August matters before the lower court has been adjourned to January 19, 2019. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.